fair, spoiler-free reviews of the newest films. Vaughn on Movies. Brought to you by bloggingtips.com and by colossusxreturns.com. In Final Destination 5, a mild-mannered guy sees a horrifying vision. The bridge his bus is crossing will fall apart and kill dozens of people. But he has a chance to prevent this and walk away. Unfortunate for the survivors, death doesn't like being cheated. And so their everyday routines become accidents waiting to happen. Stop me if this sounds familiar. The world's toughest movie critic. Now this is the kind of review where I lose some fans. Simple fact is that we've all been here and done this many times before. Even dying in the same order as the premonitions is nothing new. Heck, I'd rather know where these visions are coming from. There is a bizarre and frankly unbelievable twist that allows our heroes to steal someone's remaining years by literally and figuratively taking their life. Other than that, you get a bunch of 3D gore, which is mostly good stuff. Final Destination 5's director worked on Avatar, so the 3D effects are polished and the CGI is actually very convincing. There were a few moments that pushed it, but okay. The world as a giant rude Goldberg machine pulling various accidents together to kill people in shocking ways is still fun, suspenseful, and exciting. Oh, you want to talk about performances? Well, I did like the Megan Fox and Tom Cruise characters, but there's one chick who has a prominent role she really does not deserve. Her name's Emma Bell, and nothing she did in this movie was genuine. Yeah, the casting is a little bit off, and this is further evidenced by a scene early on where a rather normal-looking girl approaches a skinny girl, then tries to give her tips on losing baby fat. You know what, maybe that joke would have worked if you'd instead cast supermodel Kate Upton. The brand of humor being served up is not to my taste, so if you like portly guys trying to score, this might be your movie. Before I give out my final score, I have to give a shout out to Cheesy Movie Night for answering this week's Pop Quiz Hot Shot trivia question. If you want to win a shout out, and it appears very few people actually do, follow me on Twitter at VaughnOnMovies. Be the first to answer the trivia question, posted Mondays, 6 p.m. Central Time. Other than being able to steal someone's remaining years, there's not a lot of new ground here. Final Destination 5 provides low-rent fun, but it does bring the franchise full circle. So maybe, just maybe, Warner Brothers will move on to something original. I give it two out of four stars. See you guys next time. (laughs) 